Time for tonight's rewrite. Monday night in this space, I told the story of the police misconduct and police brutality that erupted on Saturday at a peaceful demonstration by the Occupy Wall Street protesters. We brought this story to a national television audience complete with video of the police violence. We then showed you a slow motion version of that last piece of video, which revealed a police commander using pepper spray against some young women for absolutely no reason. We now have video shot from another angle immediately after that first pepper spray attack. We're now going to slow that down so that you can get a clear view of the white-shirted, indiscriminate pepper spray attacker. We now know his name and rank. The New York Times has confirmed that the out-of-control officer is the high-ranking Deputy Inspector Anthony Bologna. Since our program Monday night, much has changed in the life of Inspector Bologna. On Monday, the police department was blithely insisting that the use of pepper spray and all of the rest of the brutality caught on tape was appropriate, even while they knew that we and anyone with Internet access had video proving that it was completely unjustified. City Councilman Peter Vallone, the chairman of the City Council's Public Safety Committee, watched the video and said the use of pepper spray, quote, didn't look good. Councilman Vallone also explained... If no prior verbal command was given and disobeyed, then the use of spray in that instance is completely inappropriate. The police department's patrol guide states that pepper spray can be used, quote, when a member reasonably believes it is necessary to effect an arrest of a resisting suspect. You see in this video that Inspector Bologna makes no attempt to arrest anyone nor does he order anyone arrested who he sprays. He just indiscriminately sprays people as he marches down the sidewalk. You can see here in this frame that he's spraying people who are walking away from him. They are not resisting him in any way. They are not resisting arrest. No video has surfaced anywhere that shows from any angle any provocation or justification for the use of this pepper spray. This story has managed to stay alive in the local media exclusively because of this incriminating video. The New York Times has been busy asking all of the right questions about it, and today the police department has finally stopped saying that the pepper spray was used sparingly and appropriately. That was their words, sparingly and appropriately. In fact, Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly today announced that the Internal Affairs Bureau will investigate 
Inspector Bologna's use of the pepper spray. And Commissioner Kelly, whose department had been publicly defending the use of the pepper spray, admitted, quote, I don't know what precipitated that specific incident. I predicted this investigation on Monday. The department may be forced to conduct an investigation of the police conduct if police brutality complaints are filed, but police investigations of this sort are always a sham designed from the start to the finish to defend the police conduct. The head of Inspector Bologna's union blames the investigation on us. He says the only reason Inspector Bologna is being investigated is the notoriety the Wall Street protests have attracted in the media. And he's absolutely right. The police get away with this kind of abuse in this country every day without being investigated because there is usually no video camera around to capture such routine abuse. Enough video was recorded of this incident to show that most police officers on the scene were not violent and did not overreact. Some of the video shows officers conducting themselves in the most honorable tradition of those who take the oath to serve and protect. And enough video of Deputy Inspector Anthony Bologna was recorded that the department by day four of this controversy could no longer completely protect him. Of course, as his internal affairs investigation proceeds, the culture of the department will do everything it possibly can to protect Inspector Bologna, and it remains very, very unlikely that the police department investigation will result in the disciplining of Inspector Bologna or any other officer. The spirit of these investigations is always a mix of investigation and instinctive institutional cover-up. Police departments don't want to know the truth about these incidents, and they don't want you to know the truth about these incidents. They do everything they can to hide these truths. That's what the police department was doing on Monday when they kept insisting that the use of the pepper spray was appropriate. They stuck with that story as long as they could. The only reason that story couldn't hang together is that the video shows it is false. The bravest people on that street on Saturday were not police officers. They were the people who pulled out their video cameras to record the truth. Many of them were beaten and arrested simply for exercising their legal right to press the record button on their video cameras. Soon enough, the protesters realized that using their cameras meant they were running a much more serious risk of being beaten and arrested, and still, they had the courage to do it. There's a very brave man in this picture, a very brave man, and it's not the guy in the white shirt. 